Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. This time we're going salt water and uh, I'm going to show you how to tie a squid. We go through the different techniques that I use for this tie and of course all the materials. So first we're going to make the shank for the articulation. For this I like to use a one millimeter thick marine grade stainless steel wire. I use that little blue player there it's called the one step looper or the easy looper to create my loops uh, it really makes things so much easier um, i like to make r loops on my shanks uh, simply for the added strength that the r loop provide now these little squid heads they come from spawn fly fish i really like them uh, they come blanked if you want to customize them to the color you need and um, they have them already painted if you want to if you want to be lazy and go the easy way so just measure the length that you need to finish your your shank the second hour loop you need to make it uh, at a 90 degree angle compared to the first hour loop this is for a better hook presentation after Now tidy up your shank by just trimming a little bit the, the tag ends of your loops. Now the hooks I use for this uh, squid, they come from Kona Fly Fishing Hooks, a new brand to hit the market. These are the XSS in size 2. I'm really impressed with with this new brand of hook so far. The tentacles, I make them from um, synthetic chamois leather. It's a uh, great, great, great material. It doesn't absorb too much water. It's very resilient. I use it for all my pike flies and I have no problem with it. So just freehand, cut yourself a pair of tentacles and you're ready to go. As usual, if you're interested into getting yourself some of that stuff, I will include a link in the blog. For the body, I'm using Congo hair. Uh, I really like that fiber. Uh, use it in most of my ties. So get yourself one length of Congo hair, and that one length just cut it in four equal parts. Now slightly tease the fibers out so they're not you don't have that straight cut that you had once you cut them in, in four pieces so it'll look a little bit more natural so to start off I like to do one layer on top of the hook and do the second one at the bottom of the hook now pull back the fibers and make sure that you have them well spread evenly all around the shank of the hook and build a little collar in front with the thread. Um, it's a little bit like uh, a stacking deer hair but you don't have to compress them as much as deer hair. You're not looking for buoyancy but just to fill up the gaps. Now we're going to place the, the two tentacles one on each side on top of the hook for that little extra kick I like to use crinkle flash I use a lot of crinkle flash in all my shrimp and, and squid patterns 
I think this one is a pearl UV crinkle flash. Always after different stages, just secure with a little bit of super glue. Now all you have to do is repeat the stacking of the fibers. So you should have two sections left of the Congo hair that you cut at the beginning. Stack them up and build a little, little collar of thread at the front and repeat the process. Cut one length of Congo hair, cut it in four bits and keep on stacking. When you tie articulated fly, it really pays off to have a good set of jaws on your on your vise. You want something that will grab the, the shanks properly and won't budge while, while you're tying or a worse comes off altogether in the middle of the tie. This is the Predator vise from Force Fly Fishing and I just can't fault it. Uh, it's one of the best jaws I've ever used. And again we repeat the process. Cut the length of Congo hair in four. For the shank I like to use two parts together and wrap them around the shank. Make sure they're evenly spread around. Pull back on them and as usual build the little collar of thread in front of it. Now from this point you don't have to be too precise about the stacking of the fiber because uh, they're going to be covered after by the head of the squid. So just keep on building so it gives you a little bit of a nice area for the glue to grab on onto the head of the squid after. If the size of the loop is too big for your head all you have to do is just heat it up and it'll melt a bit the, the head when you're going to push it through the next time. Secure your head with super glue. Now use a thicker thread just to build a nice little collar at the front of the head just to keep it in place. Give it a good brush now and it's ready for trimming. For trimming I really like this Fiskars scissors, they're super sharp and they're really really good for any synthetic fibers. For the trimming uh, one of the most important tips is just take your time, don't rush it and take a little bit off at a time. To decorate the heads, I like to use an airbrush. I um, used to use the Copic system with uh, the marker pens, but the problem I had with them is that the ink in the pens just washes it off very quickly. You go fishing for an hour and uh, all your hard work just washes away. To paint the heads, you have two options. 
you can do them before you start tying them onto the streamer or you can do like I'm doing now uh, you can paint them once you have everything tied together I like to do it that way simply for the fact that I can blend the, the head onto the fibers and it looks a little bit more natural that way Once everything is nice and dry, then you can proceed to add the little details with a pen. For the eyes, I really like the dragon eyes from Flyman, uh, especially these grey ones, they're just perfect for a squid. finish the head and give it a, a bit of protection I like to use liquid fusion uh, liquid fusion you have to be a little bit careful when you use it because it takes a little while to to cure so just build a really thin layer take your time and don't build a, a layer that's too thick because you're gonna get runoffs everywhere and it's not gonna look good Well, that's it. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the, the new concept of it with me doing voiceover. Since I got this new mic, uh, it saves me a lot of time in editing. See you later.